Good evening and welcome to Grace St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Memphis, Tennessee. We thank you for joining us for this service of meditation. My name is the Reverend Ollie Wrencher and I'm joined with our cellist, Alyssa Horn. Um, this is a time, if you have a candle in your home, to find a candle and light it to be a part of the prayers and there'll be a moment during the service when there will be a lighting of the candle. But most importantly, know that this is a time to breathe and to let the Spirit of God be even more known to you and to me as we offer ourselves into this time of prayer and worship. Welcome. Thank you. 
Let us pray. On the third Sunday after the Epiphany, we pray. Give us grace, O Lord, to answer readily the call of our Savior Jesus Christ and proclaim to all people the good news of his salvation, that we and the whole world may perceive the glory of his marvelous works, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today our meditation comes from a book called To Bless the Space Between Us. This wonderful book, John O'Donohue, and I commend this book because there is so much richness in his writings, but I'm mindful that you and I and the world are weary. Our hearts are hurting. There is so much division and um, lack of encouragement. And so courage seems like a word, seems like a theme, seems like something that we might consider and in the words of uh, John O'Donohue, I'd like to offer this poem, this blessing called For Courage, For Courage. When the light around you lessens and your thoughts darken until your body feels fear turn cold as a stone inside. When you find yourself bereft of any belief in yourself and all you unknowingly lean on has fallen, when one voice commands your whole heart, and it is raven dark. Steady yourself and see that it is your own thinking that darkens your world. Search and you will find a diamond thought of light. Know that you are not alone and that this darkness has purpose. Gradually it will school your eyes to find the one gift your life requires hidden within this night corner. Invoke the learning of every suffering you have suffered. Close your eyes. Gather all the kindling about your heart to create one spark. That is all you need to nourish the flame that will cleanse the dark of its weight of festered fear. A new confidence will come alive to urge you toward higher ground where your imagination will learn to engage difficulty as its most rewarding threshold for courage.
Please join me now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My friends, at this time I invite your intercessions and the silence of your hearts, mindful of concerns, mindful of thanksgivings, mindful of the gift of this day, this time of the COVID-19 pandemic and all who are suffering, those who are longing to be together, those who have died, mindful of life and its gift, intercessions and thanksgivings. We pray for peace throughout the human family. Pray for courage to navigate this sinful and broken world, God's world. We pray for humility, for forbearance, for forgiveness, for reconciliation, across lines of difference. We pray for the imagination to see the face of God in another human being, regardless of who she or he is, the image of God, to love them. We pray for new beginnings. And now the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of God's Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God, Creator, Redeemer, and Sanctifier be among us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen.